Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, how you can use the uh, Angular 2 CLI to compile with AOT for production builds or preparing for production builds. So let's get started. A uh, fun thing you want to do is uh, definitely use as a reference on the angular.io website how to compile with AOT and it kind of skim through it so you have a little bit idea of what AOT is and how to use it. Uh, practically, it's uh, relatively straightforward. What you can do is uh, go into your, wherever your Angular 2 uh, app is, and uh, you can do a build just for AOT, just to see how, what it does. And you can give it a flag called AOT. And as soon as you uh, do that, it's going to generate uh, quite a few files in the uh, distribution folder. And while it's going on, I'm going to uh, run on localhost app. And right now, as you can see, the app doesn't really run because I don't have anything serving the app. So if I go back, okay, this is good. It's all, uh, all done. If I go into the distribution folder and uh, I can see essentially uh, all of the things that it has done. So let's just take a quick look. If you look at index.html and you can kind of format the document and the reason I'm doing this is just to be able to see that is uh, it has now all the JavaScript that we need. Our main JavaScript file is usually in the main.bundle.js and uh, you should be able to uh, basically now serve this through any server and I'm just going to use the HTTP server. So I'm already in the distribution folder, so I'm going to run HTTP server and it's going to run on port 8080. And if I run it on port 8080 just uh, per se, you can see that it uh, runs and serves the Angular 2 app uh, pretty much all fine. So the main thing you want to do is uh, go into your main bundle.js and search for uh, something called the bootstrap module. So here you can see what it is doing is it's it has an angular platform browser and it calls bootstrap module factory and it has some imported module uh, so you can do the same thing here and search for bootstrap module in this uh, manual to get an understanding of that and here if you do that it shows you that if you had to do this manually that's uh, how you would be able to uh, do this uh, AOT, but the ng CLI build is already configured to do that for you. Uh, just keep it in mind that uh, uh, when I use the AOT flag like that, I'm just using it for demonstration. But if you just uh, do a build using ng build slash slash production, uh, it is going to do a build uh, with AOT and also it will run through uh, remove some of the redundant code that's not being used and uh, that's uh, really the right way to go about doing it. Uh, you may have to go and configure your tsconfig.json uh, if you uh, want to make sure that everything is uh, working fine and uh, here are some flags that you can set. Uh, the main one to really <coughs> look for is to make the module as ES2015 and if I do the production build as well that should have worked fine but this time you would notice that the files are going to be quite different <coughs> and they are minified and everything else so that's an easy way to basically how you can get an understanding of the builds with AOT compilation if you uh, I'm going to put this video on my website under Gaur Associates under uh, angular 2 angular 2 AOT and thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.